Okay, so you're telling me this is the second biggest investment of my life, only second to buying a house. Well, if you don't count how much your kids cost you. Yes, <laughs> we're talking about paying for college. It is increasingly difficult, and Sabrina Rodriguez hopefully has some help here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so talking with David Masanto here, and say the website for me. It's Unifluence.com. Okay, Unifluence.com, so keep that in mind. And we're talking about how to pay for college because... As of right now, people are probably getting all their acceptance letters and really excited. Okay, I made it in, but now what? That's right, Sabrina. <laughs> now what? How do I pay for this? Yes. And it's quite expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we've got three different sort of little tactics that you have here to kind of help people get into that mode of how they're going to pay. So the first tactic that we have, we're talking about, say, for example, I live here in California. I got accepted to a school on the East Coast, but I'm going to have to pay those out-of-state tuition fees. Is there a way around that? There is a, there's something, and it tends to be regional, but there's this thing called the Western Undergraduate Exchange, or WUI, mm -hmm. is the best way to remember it. Okay. Um, and what that does is it allows you, especially if there's a, a state that's next to yours, contiguous, mm -hmm. um, it allows you to, to get an in-state school price at only certain schools. So you have to go to that website to mm -hmm. see what could work. For example, a new, if you're looking at New Mexico Tech, you can go from, from here to New Mexico Tech and only pay the in-state tuition, typically. Oh, okay. Yeah. So pick and choose and see which one fits into you. Okay. So number two, let's talk about scholarships. Let's talk about, you know, those outside funding sources. And I always, and we were talking about this beforehand, I was very fortunate. I got through college paying, not paying anything. I didn't take loans. I did grants and scholarships and it paid for all four years. I was very lucky. So what's the recommendation to, to students? Well, only about 5%, believe it or not, or less, come from outside sources. Mm -hmm. The majority come directly from the colleges. Yep. And so I recommend actually doing the kinds of extracurriculars that will attract those kinds of you know, expense, mm -hmm. expenditures by the colleges themselves when you apply. So, yep. for example, if you're a musician and mm -hmm. you play the viola, if you play it at, you know, in your first chair, that's great. But mm -hmm. then if you play it at the junior symphony level, that will attract some grants and scholarships mm -hmm. directly from colleges. Okay. And then maybe if you know some foreign languages, things like that as well? Right. You could take the national Latin exam, which isn't really a foreign, you know, is that a foreign language? <laughs> or you can take the Spanish exam or the German exam. These are national exams uh -huh. that will win you scholarship money likely from colleges. Interesting. So take a look at what interests you and maybe tailor it and see if you can get anything from your college. What if you're, um, like, interested in theater or something like that as well? Right. You might... You might you know, do a solo somewhere performance mm -hmm. that's highly, highly ranked or rated by, you know, in a, at a theater that's a, you know, sort of a national level theater, state gotcha. level theater. Okay. And then number three, and I thought this was really fascinating. So make sure that you look at the college and the return on investment. So this is what people are making um, post-graduation. Exactly. So when you look at um, the ROI, as we call it, mm -hmm. basically this, there's this great website called payscale.com or payscale rankings for graduate. Mm -hmm. And basically what you can look at is how much you spend versus how much you'll make right out of college and then 10 years out is the mid-career salary. Okay. And just, we... We've linked that already to fox40.com, so if you want to click on it and see maybe if you're around the mid-range. I know I'm not, um, but it's something very fascinating. So thank you so much for being with us again My today. My pleasure, Sabrina. And, yes, so happy hunting to all of our, our college seekers. Okay, all. good luck finding and good luck paying. And if you are trying to figure out how to get uh, into college, David has some other great tips for you. His book, Brand You, Four Steps to Get Into the College of Your Dreams, is available on Amazon.